Hey, I want to share with you all a brand new update to ZimWriter that dramatically expands the types of articles you can write about with ZimWriter. Let me demonstrate. So prior to this update, if you had a list of blog posts to write about, so these are 25 blog posts, how to choose the perfect baby name, essential baby care tips, and you wanted to write about these in the bulk writer, you'd have a problem. You'd paste them in and you'd have to choose the number of H2s that you want the AI to use. So, you know, if you put, let's say 10 in here, each one of these articles would end up with 10 H2s. Maybe you don't want every one of your articles to have the same number of H2s. In addition, some of your article titles might be listicles, five easy and nutritious homemade baby food recipes. In that situation, you don't want 10 H2s. You want five because a reader going to five easy and nutritious homemade baby food recipes expects to see five, not 10. But then in that list, you might have a 10. Top 10 must have items for new parents. So how do you deal with the situation where you want different amounts of H2s, but for situations where you have a listicle, you also want the AI to obey those listicle settings. Now you can with ZimWriter 7.8. It's amazing. So the two things that ZimWriter will now do is when you set this number up here, and you got to check this box first. This is the new box. You check this box. This is very similar to the box that's inside of the Penny Arcade. But if you check this box, then you set a number above five. All right. What ZimWriter will do is for a non-listicle title. So a listicle title would be top 10 whatever. A non-listicle title would be like how to choose the perfect baby name, okay? So for a non-listicle title, what ZimWriter will do is if this is greater than five, choose a random amount of H2s to write about between five and whatever this number is. So in this situation, it would choose a random number between five and 10. So you might get an article for this one right here that has seven H2s. And then it will do the same thing for the next one, okay? Essential baby care tips for first-time parents. So it will choose a random number between 5 and 10. Now, if we set this at 15, it would do the same thing. Random number between 5 and, and 15, random number between 5 and 15, etc. But now the cool thing is, let's set this back at, I don't know, 7, for instance. When it hits something that it detects as a listicle, and there's certain rules for when ZimWriter is going to see a listicle and not, I recommend clicking on the secret training button that will take you to my help page. And then you can find this guide, this exhaustive guide on using the bulk writer. And then a little bit down here, there is a lot of information about this button. And it's going to talk about the listicles and the rules and whatnot and how it interprets it. But the long and short of it is, if ZimWriter detects this as a listicle, it's going to override whatever your setting is here. So it's not going to write about seven things. It's going to write about 10 things. For this one right here, five easy, nutritious, homemade baby food recipes, it's not going to write about seven. It's going to write about five. In one respect, you have ZimWriter looking at the titles and determining when something is a dynamic H2, when it, it's not a listicle, but you've set the, the setting to make it dynamic. And then we'll also be looking at these titles to determine when something's a listicle or not, and then writing about that accordingly. Now, the real power, and that's that's very, very powerful because now you can write all kinds of listicles inside of your bulk writer. You can just <laughs> fill it all up. But the real power, okay, now comes in the Penny Arcade. You might be very happy generating a lot of articles in the bulk writer, but now with the Penny Arcade, you can put in URLs to, to listicles from the competition out there. You can now put those URLs in, and ZimWriter will write a listicle based on that. It's not 100% accurate, but I'd say it's like about 90, 95% accurate. The results are just jaw-dropping. I've been blown away when I've looked at them. Realize one thing, though, and this is, again, I don't want to get too deep into the woods here, but if it encounters a listicle above 15, it will retitle the URL title. If it was like top 50 baby names, it would rename it to top 15 baby names and rename that. I don't want to get into the weeds as to why, but there is some renaming that will go on if you, your listicle items get above 15. But listicles, if you want to use them in ZimWriter, are entirely possible now. The output's amazing. I can't wait to hear how you guys are using it because this, this is like a Pandora's box. I was scraping some YouTube transcripts for different listicle things and then scraping some web pages. And I was like, oh, this is, <laughs> this is pretty scary. But I'm really excited about it. I can't wait to hear how you all are using it. Definitely check out the training. And be sure to check out the very fun update button. I absolutely love this. Click the ZimWriter update and you can immediately update to the latest version. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please drop a comment down below for any questions, concerns, or whatever. 
Other than that, hey, until next time, good luck with your content generation. And I'll talk to you later.